Hello, in this video, let's think about a subsidy or a tax and how to see that on a graph. So we've got supply and demand here. Um, and we've got, uh, start out with equilibrium price. Equilibrium price right about 550. That's where they cross. Question here, if a tax of $2 were imposed, what price would buyers pay and what price would sellers receive? This question wants you to use a wedge shortcut, meaning uh, we're going to take a difference of $2. Let me do that where we can just do from 11 down to 9. Let me change the color of that. Okay. And you just take this, and we're just looking for where is the distance between supply and demand. So that would be right here. You could definitely do that. Uh, so that would be our, our wedge shortcut. And so we're knocking the price up here. So the price that the buyers would pay would be seven. And the price the sellers would keep would be five. The tax revenue. So I guess I could draw this right here. So this would be, this would be the tax revenue right here. So that would be the difference between the price the buyers pay and the price the sellers get to keep, which is that $2. This up here would be consumer surplus. You can calculate that by one half base times height. And down here would be the producer surplus. Again, one half base times height right there. Uh, the total tax revenue would be $2 times the four units. Okay. And then dead weight loss would be this calculation right here. It's this. It's kind of hard to see that color right there. And I already used that color. She's black. So the dead weight loss would be right here. Would be that. That loss there. And so that's how to do uh, that tax. Now, if you didn't want to use the wedge shortcut, what you could do is either shift the demand curve down by two. So you would just go. Uh, down here, if the tax was placed on buyers, then you'd end up with something like that. That's D minus tax. Or uh, more typically, we're going to add that $2 to the sellers. So we just come up here and just lay that right down there on that. That becomes uh, S plus tax. Okay, right there. Either way, you get the same result, so it doesn't matter. All right, subsidy, $5 subsidy were imposed. Okay, so how, what price would the buyers pay? And okay, so now we're going to basically give uh, $5 to the buyers. So you can add, uh, so like here, this would go up to 6 to 11. Uh, so in other words, for five units, instead of willing, being willing to pay six, they're now willing to pay 11. And then uh, we keep doing that. And so we could use this wedge shortcut right here to get us here to here. So if you give it to the buyers, it's going to be like this. This is demand plus subsidy. Okay, so now we got a, a quantity of nine. The buyers would pay uh, two this time, but the sellers would keep seven. And then the difference would be the, the government subsidy. So it'd be $5 subsidy on nine units. So that's how much the government would pay. Uh, nine times five would be 45. And then the dead weight loss, dead weight loss is going to be the difference between this and this and whatever our equilibrium was. So the dead weight loss for the subsidy would be pointing back at the equilibrium output. This would be dead weight loss. Okay, so that's how to calculate. Uh, dead weight loss and price the buyers pay and the price the sellers get to keep from a simple example.